Mic check, one, two, mic check, one, two. Mic check one two, mic check one two. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm gonna be starting this here in the next couple of minutes. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the way we are allowing players to use her, mostly on defense, uh, in this league. So hopefully, uh, everybody will have a really good understanding as to what, what we're doing here. So, we'll start here in a couple minutes, guys. All right, guys, here we go. So, uh, check it out. Sorry, I got twizzles in my mouth. Um, this is more for the new users than the, uh, than the older users. I mean, the older users have been doing this for a while, so they kind of understand, like, what we're doing and what the rules are. Um, I just want to make sure that uh, anybody else that that comes in here and plays, you know, you guys are, are able to do basically what we're doing. Because what I want to avoid is you guys getting fined, all right? Uh, every time you guys uh, violate one of the rules in terms of usering, in terms of strafing, in terms of staying on specific, you know, staying on your specific design, uh, receiver, uh, things of that nature. Like every time you violate that rule, man, you get fined. That's just the way it is. That's the way it's always been. Um, there are no exceptions, okay? LOs get fined just like regular users get fined. So I, I really don't care. I don't, don't, I'm not gonna like <laughs> hear your excuse or give you a, a, an out because I find everybody, even me. I've even find me. So uh, with that said, uh, you know, teams don't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Giants here, whatever. Uh, I guess the Cowboys, also whatever. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, show you guys a couple of different sets uh, and and basically how to use her within those sets. So uh, go ahead and let this load up and we'll get into it. So I'm just going to do this in practice mode, kind of against the CPU, 
Um, I guess I had to pick a play because I need to actually switch over to, to the other side of the ball here. So. Hey, plays over. It looks like real life. Um, go ahead and flip sides. All right. So um, I'm just gonna have the uh, computer run, you know, random pass plays basically, uh, just so you can kind of see what we're doing here. Uh, first things first, I'll go into uh, man coverage, and uh, you know, and we'll go from there. Uh, play type, standard pass. Let's uh, go ahead and tell you to do random standard pass. Okay, so um, here's one thing that I'm seeing a lot of. Um, first things first, movement. Okay, in this league, wherever your player starts, you can move three yards in a direction. Okay, so. So if we look at if we look at this right here, I'm supposed to be covering uh, Zeke in the backfield, right? I cannot come all the way up to the line manually. All right, uh, I can't back off because I think it's going to be a, a long pass. I can't back off super far. All right, you are able to shift a little bit if need be, right? If I think this is going to go to the flats and I'm covering uh, I'm covering him with this linebacker. Maybe I move over a couple of steps, boom, that's where I can move over, all right? Um, utilize utilize the, these pre-snaps, okay? U utilize stuff like this, where I can I can move guys over. I can uh, you know have my have my line my linebacker shift. I can do all those kind of things, all right? Uh, because otherwise if you're doing it manually you're you're running the risk of uh, of catching the fine. All right, so use these pre snaps. If you don't know how to use these pre snaps. All right, this is the directional pad on your controller, right? It's directional pad on your controller, and then you're gonna you know move people around with your left stick or your right stick, so you can spread, uh, you can pinch, you can do whatever it needs to do. All right, when it comes to linebackers, it's going to be the right the right arrow on your directional pad. That's how you're gonna you know pull this menu up. If you want to do stuff with your line, all right, it's the left uh, arrow on the directional pad, and then you can, you know, shift linemen around. You can, you know, spread them, pinch them. You can have them, you know, slant right, slant left, things like that. All right, these, this is this is the stuff that you guys need to be doing if you want to move players around pre-snap, okay? Because you can't move players around a whole lot manually. You just you just can't. All right, so so we're, we'll do that. All right, what I'm going to do now. Is let's go ahead and reset this, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and get over here on Haley, all right? And I'm gonna go snap, snap the ball. Now, you notice that as I'm, um, as I am, am covering that wide receiver, right? Um, I'm going to, uh, I, I like to strafe, right? Just so that I don't get, uh. I don't get taken advantage of because honestly, I'm a bad man user, y'all. Like I can't, I can't really man use for shit. If you're good at this kind of stuff, then cool. You don't have to strafe though. If I'm on man, I don't, I don't have to strafe. I'm gonna go on, on ahead and, and grab this linebacker, and I'm gonna cover. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this uh, this tight end. I know it's a pass play. What do you think? What do you think? So, boom! I'm covering him, right? And I'm, I'm staying on my design guy, okay? This is something that I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, uh, and, and I want to nip this kind of stuff in the bud, okay? Um, it, it's, it's stuff like this, okay? I'm supposed to be on this, on this tight end, right? I'm supposed to be on this, uh, on this tight end over here with Buchanan. So, let's say uh, he snaps the ball. Oh, oh, he's going over here. You notice that I ran over to the other receiver because I thought he was throwing over there. You cannot do that, okay? You have to stay on the receiver that the play yard states. So I have to stay on this tight end no matter what. All right? I cannot, uh, I cannot be moving and shaking all over the field. I cannot be running wild even though I don't have to shrink because I'm, I'm in hand coverage. I have to stay with my guy. All right? And, I, and obviously, you guys know this is a no switch league, so you can't switch on to somebody else. Um, now, in man coverage, right? Uh, in man coverage, if I'm on the safety and my responsibility is this zone back here, well, guess what? 
that's where I'm staying, okay? I'm not running around all crazy with, with this guy unless unless uh, Amari Cooper is getting ready to run through my, my zone here. So I'm going to go ahead and use her this safety just so you can see. So I'm using her back here. I can't come run all the way over here. You see how I ran to cover that guy? Like, I can't do that until he comes into my zone. When he comes into my zone, I can commit to him, but I have to stay on that guy. All right? But your job here, when you're, if you're using in the safety back here, is to, to just strafe. Strafe and look. Strafe and look. Okay? That's what you need to be doing. So I want to show, I want to show this, uh, I, don't, I don't know what this play is, but I, I'm going to guess that it's some kind of a, uh, maybe it's a, uh, uh, maybe it's like a, it could be a four verts. Right, but I don't think it's a four verse. Let, let, let's say that I think this is going to be uh, this. This play is designed to go to uh, I believe that's Michael Gallup, and he's going to run just like a quick hook, right? And I'm the safety. I cannot do what I'm getting ready to show you guys. You cannot. This is not allowed. I can't do that. You are not allowed to sprint down because you think, oh, I, I know this this play and this play is uh is going to go down you can't do that something else i can't do i'm just going to show you notice how i'm sprinting that you you cannot sprint you've got a strength if your responsibility is some kind of a zone uh assignment you cannot just sprint to an area you have to strength So I hope this is, is making sense. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anybody in the in the chat right now that can ask me questions or try to dispute something. But you know, this is just some things that I'm seeing that I, I want to make sure that you guys understand the things you can and can't do. Um, uh, here's another thing. Um, let me see if I got some kind of a yeah. Okay. Now, now my my uh, my safety is way over here, right? I'm in man. My safety is kind of a. What I would what I would refer to as like a, a cross man, right? Because my safety is over here on the other side, you know, with the defender that he needs to, you know, that he needs to, to cover. Now, uh, in situations like this, right? Uh, I've been asked, well, why can't I shift my guy over to cover him? Um, in theory, right? You can shift over a little bit. And in, in, in theory, um, what we what we want to prevent is. Uh, people just running wild out here so this is what i would suggest you do okay uh in this kind of a situation the ball's going to get hiked and i'm, I'm going to go ahead i'm going to do exactly what what i would do in this situation okay um got a couple of options i can either base a line right base a line and then maybe press down um you know or i can Reset the let me reset the play so that I can try and get that exact same look that I had. All right, so let's say let's say this is the kind of the look that I'm in right here, right? This is crazy. If I was in a look like this pre-snap, best believe that I am going to uh, call an audible because <laughs> this this ain't the look. But I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it rock, and I'm gonna show you uh, uh, what I would specifically do. I'm going to sprint over to cover my guy, okay? In this situation, you know, I sprint over to cover my guy. Let's see if I can get a, let's see if I can get a, a similar look like that. Um, uh, kind of, kind of not, but that's fine. You are always allowed to base a line, okay? You're always allowed to base a line, but you have to manually base a line. You cannot set it up in the in the coach's adjustments. You can you can always base a line um, manually pre-snap. All right. So I just want to make sure that that's understood. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now you know what I'm going to let this play rock so I can get into a into a, a zone look here. All right, cool. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna get in a zone look here. I'm gonna get to. Uh, let's go ahead and just run a Tampa two, right? Um, 
So right now I'm I'm over tree. I got this uh, this this mid right. Um, what y'all need to understand is this: as that uh, linebacker, right? You uh, have to strafe in a situation like this. It, it doesn't really matter who you're using here. You can be using anybody, but you have to strafe. Okay. So when the ball is snapped, you need to strafe. So I'm just gonna give you an example of what a play should look like. Boom. I'm straightening back, I'm straightening back. Uh, my guys can't tackle. Jason Witten is, uh, is being a beast out here. He's like 173,000 years old. Um, let's go ahead and get to this invert cover six. Um, let's say I want to be Haley, right? And I see I see what my responsibility is. It's that quarter flat, okay? Um, here, here's the thing, all right? Uh, you are always allowed to do like kind of a bump and uh and a bump and read okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bump this slot and then i'm gonna i'm gonna get into my read i'm gonna go ahead and let me slap it bump them and then get into my read and just attack um but understand that i, I bump him and then i get into my zone i start to straight i get into my zone same thing, I'm going to do it again here. I'm going to attempt to do it again here. Probably look like a fool when I do it. So just just notice how how I'm uh, how I am if I'm going to try to bump I instantly start strafing. You find a uh, cover three cloud. Okay, so let's say that I'm um, I'm using the, my, my safety here, right? I'm in this deep blue. Um, and uh, I know that that strong side tight end is going to probably run some kind of a... I don't know. He's going to run some kind of a route. I want to make sure that I, I'm kind of covering him. But at the same time, I want to provide some help over here uh, for Amari Cooper, right? Because my quarterback, my, my corner that's covering him, he ain't that good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let it rock. I'm going to strafe over. I'm going to stay in my zone. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get in a situation where somebody runs through my zone so I can commit to them. So give me a second, guys. Um, all right. Let, let's, let's see this. I'm going to let this rock real quick. All right, boom. Oh, he's in my zone. I'm, I commit to that. I was going to commit to that guy. I was hoping he wasn't going to throw the ball. And then that guy was going to continue his route because I was going to commit to him. Let me, let me try it again. See if I can. Uh... All right, cool. I'm using Baker right now. Amari Cooper's over here. He didn't run through my zone. <laughs> Come on, guys. You got to work with me, man. Okay, so let's pretend that he didn't make that throw, and hopefully you're paying, to my, paying attention to my user. I had Witten kind of going across the middle of the field, and I committed to him. Once I commit to him, I am no longer zoned. I am, I am uh, now covering him man-to-man. -man. But once I commit to him, I cannot let him go. I have to stay with him the entire time. If it's a lob pass, it's over my head, and I could haul ass with that, receipt, with, with that defender and go get a user pick, I'm not allowed to do that unless it's being thrown to the guy I've decided to commit to. Let's see if I can, you know, see if I can get this to happen here. All right. Oh, I'm committing to him. I'm committing to him. You notice how I committed to that guy? I'm able to stay with him and just and just run down the field with him. That's what we mean by commit. He ran through my zone and I committed to him. I'm trying, trying to see if I can get a, get a, a, a similar look like that. So I attempted to, to, to commit over to, uh, to that tight end as he came through my zone. So like, this is the most important stuff that I want you guys to understand is that like when, we're, when you're using on defense, right? You want to make sure that you're not cheesing. Plain and simple. 
what I, what I don't want to see, what I don't want to see is stuff like this. I don't want to see that. While well, I'm running around, running wild, around wide with a defender, running around wild with a defender. I don't want to see stuff like this because this this is fine of it. All right, let's uh. Let's go on ahead and uh, I'm just gonna flip sides real quick. I want to go back over to office because I just want I want y'all to see some stuff. I want y'all to see some stuff uh, from uh, offensively. All right. Um, I, from an offensive standpoint, right? I'm not seeing a bunch of I'm not seeing a whole bunch of craziness. Um, you guys look really good on offense. Um, but here's here's what I I, I want to mention. Okay. Um, uh, hot routes, okay? So in this league, you are allowed one hot route. Just one, okay? Now, here's what does not constitute as a hot route. If I smart route, uh, I smart route tape. And then I put everything room uh, in pass block. Okay, so let's say I, I, I smart route tape. I put everything room in a, in a, a hot uh, in a pass block, and I put slate in on and out. Hell, I can even hot route slate. Okay, that whole situation right there was one hot route because I only changed one person's route, and that was slate. I could I could put Barkley on a on a pass block. That's fine, okay? Because uh, we do not count putting someone in a pass block as a hot route. We do not count um, smart routing someone as a hot route. We only count. Um, oh man, it's late. Nice catch. We only count changing this specific route to something else. That's what we would consider a hot route. Three people are in here. Hey, what's up to the three y'all in here? I appreciate y'all uh, coming and jumping in. You missed quite a bit though. Uh, uh, but if you're in the uh, Discord and you want to jump up into uh, Hall of Fame University's voice chat, uh, I'm in there right now. You can ask me any questions that you want. So uh, I I'm gonna stay on for a little bit. Uh, I don't want to make this too long, but uh, I wanna I wanna help you guys out if you guys have questions. Um, all right. Um, here's something else. I don't know if people understand uh, some of these pre-snaps. Okay. Uh, First and foremost, ID the mic, okay? If I am IDing the mic, I am essentially saying who, uh, in, okay, in the real world, in real football, IDing the mic is basically saying who the middle linebacker is or the mic, right? Because what you're doing is you're telling your offensive line they're blocking assignments, okay? Uh, each offensive lineman has someone that they have to block. They'll get down and they'll, they'll communicate who we're going to block. Right? The quarterback will then step up to the line of scrimmage, he'll survey the defense and he'll decide, okay, this guy is the mic, right? When he decides that that person's the mic, essentially he's saying, hey, free blocker, block that guy, all right? So, I ID, I ID that middle linebacker as the mic, and uh, even though that middle linebacker is probably not going to gonna uh, blitz, all right? But let's say that uh, I thought that, go ahead, and, go ahead and get back to ID the mic, let's say I thought that this guy right here was going to blitz, right? In, in Madden, it doesn't quite work the same way as it would in real life. Because in Madden, when you're ID in the mic, you're essentially just saying, hey, block this guy. Make sure you block him. So let's say I thought he was going to blitz. I would ID him as the mic. All I'm doing is telling my free lineman to block him if he comes in. Okay? Um, some other stuff, uh, slide left, slide right. Um, you know, those, those things are relatively important. Uh, just in, tell, in terms of Hey, I know that uh, the the right side, right? I got uh, I got D Law over here on the right side, and he's a monster. I'm telling them, hey, I need y'all to, I need the my my two free blockers on the right side to to sh shift out and block that guy more to the right, 
so that I have uh, uh, a little more time in the pocket. Okay, so um, I want to make sure that you guys understand that because some people don't know. Like I didn't know specifically how ID the mic worked in Madden until last night. Okay, because I've never used it. I I never ever used ID the mic. And so then I did some research to figure out like, hell, yo, how does this ID the mic shit work uh, uh, in this game? Because like. You know, these linemen aren't necessarily communicating to each other in this game. They can't really simulate that. So what does it do? And then I realized that it, it, it was essentially telling my free linebacker to go get that guy. Alright? So, um... I do the mic over there. Push him right over there. In this in this specific situation, I would probably put Evan Ingram to pass block because D-Law's a beast. And I would also... Uh, I would also probably double team him by pushing the right stick double team boom I'm double teaming him because I don't want him to come wreck my day up and I'm hiking the ball I make a pass Daniel Jones sucks <laughs> it's all good though um but uh, uh you know hopefully hopefully that helps you guys a little bit in terms of uh you know some of these pre-snaps on on offense specifically because like I said I, I didn't really use a lot of this stuff until you know, last Madden, and and that was because uh, you know I got real heavy in the CFM last Madden. The computer, I can manipulate the computer all day. To be honest with you, but you know, users and, and you know, not specifically knowing what these these users are doing, they're doing all their pre-snap adjustments, moving people around, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I have to figure out how to counteract that stuff. Um, you'll notice that my 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 right tackle and my right guard. They shift it out to the right a little bit more, uh, just to kind of help help that pocket. Go on, go on. Um, Look at me. Go on. Go. Uh, don't take that here, ball. Okay, cool. So, um, so here's the deal. Um, I I don't like I said I don't want this video to be super long. Right, I don't want to uh, keep you guys here, you know, all day, right? Because uh, at the end of the day, man, the things that I'm things that I'm saying here are, are relatively simple, but it does take practice, man. I will wholeheartedly admit that it takes practice to uh, to to get this stuff to get this stuff down, um, and and so like, you know, I want to make sure that everybody that's here, uh, you know, has a has a pretty good pretty good grasp on on what we want the gameplay to look like uh, out here because you know the the users that have been here you know this is second nature to them this they don't even have to think about this stuff anymore they just do it and if if the new users is out here playing this like this much the new users got a got kind of an unfair advantage to be honest with you man because if y'all running around like crazy and and uh, us OGs is used to being able to, you know, throw a touch pass, and and the the, the player that's there reacts based on his overall or reacts based on his rare, his awareness or his play rec. Hey, I know I can hit that touch pass over him, but as a user, you're way more aware. Your awareness is 99. You know what I'm saying? So you can click on and and, and intercept. Or you can sprint over and pick that pick that play off, man, and and, and so that legitimately it puts y'all at a bit of an advantage over top of us. So um, sit your ass down, Z. Sick of you eat. Uh, with that being said, guys, um, I've been talking for about 26 minutes now. Uh, I have three people in here, and I appreciate y'all coming in. If you miss anything, go back. Uh, if something doesn't make sense or you're confused about uh, any of the stuff that I'm talking about, if you think that I missed something, if you think that I said something that maybe, you know, you don't agree with per se, listen, man, I'm, I'm, I'm here for y'all, man. I don't care. Uh, I don't, I don't necessarily care about like these rules in terms of every single thing is concrete. Yo, the, the LO, we listen to the users, man. We want y'all to have fun and we want y'all to have a good experience here. So if there's something that you see and you're like, ah, I don't necessarily agree with that. We can have a, a, a good, constructive conversation about it. It doesn't have to be 
you know, uh, uh, us yelling at each other or anything like that. We can have a constructive conversation about it and, and try to figure out if we can find a happy medium. We're always willing to do that. But if you guys have any questions or anything like that, man, hit me up, right? I'm always here. Uh, I'm always available for the most part. And, uh, and I appreciate you guys uh, coming in and, and, and checking this out. So y'all take care, man. I'll get out with y'all later. Peace.